Should you be a realtor in 2022, 2023? Well, maybe. <laughs> we'll go over the questions that you need to ask yourself to see if you got what it takes to be a real estate agent. Statistically, probably not. 87% of realtors fail in the first five years. That's from the National Association of Realtors. And unfortunately, it's accurate. People come into real estate and they see Han TV, uh, all the shows selling Sunset and just looks so easy. They see on Instagram, Facebook, you know, realtors, they just have it made. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. We just post a highlight reel. We're not posting, you know, all the crap and stuff that uh, we have to deal with also. Uh, we like to keep things positive. So if you think it's all, you know, glamour, nice vehicles, nice clothes and stuff, well, stay tuned in this video because I got some stuff to show you. <laughs> Can you hustle? This game, you got to hustle. You are just not gonna be given things. You gotta go out there and you gotta go grab it. Now, the people that I've seen fail in this industry, they did not have that hustle. They did not go out there and grab it. They didn't go out to try and you know talk to other top agents around and ask if they could do open houses. Uh, they were just kind of sitting and waiting. This is not a wait and see type business. You gotta go out and go grab it. And again, I don't know if any business is actually a wait and see business, <laughs> but especially not this one. It's, you gotta hustle. I say that's one very key aspect of being successful in this industry is the hustle. One other important trait that will show you having a successful career in real estate is what is your ability to withstand pain? Now I'll explain. The people who are most successful and I would say this is just pretty much in life and business in general, are the people who can withstand the pain the longest to get to their goals. Now let's say you don't sell a house for eight months, your first 10 months in the business, and you have no income, and you have to live off savings, credit cards, and stuff like that. Well, a lot of people will quit by then. Or maybe you're not, even after a year, you're not making what you used to make. A lot of people will give it a year and then they just quit. Well, you have to treat real estate like a business. And in most businesses, you're really not reaching profit until after year two, two to five years uh, to become profitable. So when you go in it with a mindset that you're treating it like a business, that will make all the difference. This is not a job, you're running a business here. So, hey, play it out. Like, how long can you withstand a pain to get to your goals and can you outlast the other and withstand that pain longer than people? Because yes, there will be painful times. So be ready for that. Well, I hope I didn't scare you off with what I was saying in this video. Real estate is a very lucrative career when you put forth the effort. Now, you would do have to be spending, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 hour weeks, uh, especially in your first year in business to, you know, be the success that most people want to achieve in their first year of real estate. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you're going to be one of the 13% who will succeed. The 87% who fail are not usually trading and you know bettering themselves. So yes, I do think it's a good time to get your real estate license. I do think it's a good time to become a realtor, even with a market slowing and it's not crazy like it was back last year in 2021. Well, that was just a crazy market. So, you know, now we're getting a more normal market. So, you know, I think now is a great time to get your real estate license. And especially if you have a career that prepares you, um, like in sales, that prepares you for real estate, then it's you'll be used to the whole commission structure. Well, if you have any more additional questions on if you should get your real estate license, please just give me a call. My contact information is below. You can send me an email as well. We can do a Zoom call. You know, there's, I can help you in 21 different countries right now. So, you know, pretty much wherever you're at watching this video, I could probably help you. I do only speak English, so that's the one thing that I, that I, that I can't help if I cannot communicate properly. But yeah, um, definitely. I would love to help you out. And before we go, would you please do me a favor? Will you please like this video, show a little bit of love to that subscribe button, and then hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any more tips on what it's like to be a real city. I'll talk to you later.